One thing that always helps me out is the weather. And I think it helps a lot of people out. It helps people be positive and be happier. And when the weather's like this, it's, it's kind of hard to be happy. You almost have to sort of force it a little bit. But forced happiness is never good. So you have to do things that are going to make you happy. I've got some errands to do in town this morning. Being on my new Slick Revolution board, that makes me happy. So, town errands done this morning. It's actually my dad's birthday today, yes. Daddy Mars, as strange as that sounds, it's his birthday today. So I've been down to my good old friends at Oxygen to pick him up a awesome birthday present and I really hope he likes it because I've been looking at this for ages and I thought he's gonna love that. Only managed today, guys, to find some time to go and pick it up. Right, so guys, I'm wanting to do a, like a, a themed vlog today. And a themed vlog is, well, a vlog that's about a certain topic. And this is a, a topic that you guys have asked me a lot, is how to record yourself. How to vlog. This is the question I get the most out of absolutely anything is, Alex, how do you vlog? Alex, how do you do this? Alex, how do you do that? And it's all to do with vlogging, right? And I'm not going to dance around and be the fairy that says, Oh, stories, everything. Oh, story, story, story. Because, well, story's great, but if you can't capture the story, then what's the point? To the people that say, oh, the story's the only thing that matters, no, it's not. You see, the thing with vlogging, right, the story, the story is your life, right? What you're doing with your day or what you want to vlog about. That's the story. My story today is teaching you guys how to vlog. So I can't teach you the story. The story is already there. A vlog story is your life, what you want to do in that day. What I want to show you guys how to do is how to film yourself, right? And I've bought some things on, on Amazon to help me film myself and I want to explain this explain this to you guys. So, where do we get started? Maybe, maybe, focus. Well, they say the best camera that you have is the one you have with you, but which camera do you have with you? This is a Sony a6500. It's an absolutely brilliant little vlogging camera because it's small, it's compact, it's got interchangeable lenses, you can whack a wide angle on here, or you can put a 28 mil on and get some tight, nice, awesome shots. But the saying that I will stand to is correct. The best camera is the one you have with you. I started out vlogging on my phone with a nine pound, I kid you not, nine pound little lens adapter, which made it a little bit wider on the field of view. Alex, I really want to get a good camera for vlogging. Which one should I get? Well, if you've got a bit of cash, the A6500 is brilliant, or the Sony A7S II, which is what I use right here. I think this is better though, because the autofocus is. If you don't have that much money, maybe the Sony RX100 cameras are for you. That's RX100. And maybe if that's a little bit out of your price bracket, the Canon G7Xs are very, very solid good cameras. I had one of those for a little bit before I dropped it into a swimming pool. In my opinion, the all-round vlogging camera needs to have a nice wide-angle lens, good audio quality, or the option to add good audio quality, and, well, that's about it. Probably HD, but it doesn't really matter. Most people watch on their phone nowadays. The screen's like this big. It doesn't matter. So once you've found your perfect vlogging camera, then you think, right, I'm going to hold the camera out and point it, but how do I do that? How do I advance this forward and how do I get some nice, stable footage? Well, I use one of these things. Now, this is called a Joby Gorillapod, and they do different versions for how heavy your camera is. This one is the biggest one they do, the SLR Zoom. My main camera, well, it's, it's very heavy and big, so I need this this big one. The reason why I like these is because they're really versatile. So you can actually move the legs around like that and then place the camera down and it's just a mini tripod. Or you can actually 
actually wrap them round poles. These actually bend and you can wrap it round things. So that moves us on to the next thing, mounting your camera. As I say, I use one of these. I've just bought this from Manfrotto though. I'm going to include a link to this in the description. This is, well, four parts including my camera. It has a head, it has these two arms, and then it has a clamp. And essentially what I can do is go ahead and clamp this absolutely anywhere. And there we go. Now my camera is actually off the, it's off the side of the table. A shot I couldn't previously get with one of these. So the kit that you mount your camera with really does help. And I guys, I really do. I think it's something that people really overlook. You can get yourself a nice camera, nice microphone, have brilliant visuals and brilliant audio. But if you're not mounting your camera and being creative with it, then what's the point? Now guys, how boring is this shot? There we go. I've added a little bit of light. Hopefully that's made things a little bit better. Still quite, still quite boring though. There we go, it's getting a little bit better. I've done two things there guys. I've added what's called a fill light, a big light to add fill to the room. And then I've also added some background light to give depth to the image. But now that just leaves me a little bit, well, dark, doesn't it? That thing is bright, man. So there we go, guys. I've added a light for my face, a subject light, and then I've added fill light to light the room up, and then I've also added a background light to give a little bit of depth. Those are my tips. The camera, how to mount your camera, and the lighting. If you can nail all those three things, you're gonna get your way onto some pretty sick footage. But obviously you'll have nothing to film at all if you do not have a story. So please start at the story. But to anybody that says the story's everything, no it's not. It's probably a good 90%, but it's not everything. I'm gonna drop all the links to everything down in the description, including my favorite cameras in certain price ranges. There we go, that was my Mars Bars ultimate guide to how to vlog or film a YouTube video with you being the one man band, being the person in front of the camera and also needing to be the person behind the camera as well. Some good equipment choices that I've left down in the description for you guys, a little bit of good lighting, good camera placement, Put all that together and that'll be one big video mess. So there you go guys, I really do hope today's vlog helped you out and if it did, a like rating would be awesome. And if you want me to do more of these topical vlogs, then please let me know. I will be more than happy to uh, give you an insight as to how I do things in my own brain. Everybody has their own way of doing things, some ways better and some ways worse. So let me know. But for now guys, my name's been Alex, you guys have been awesome. Guys, stay awesome, keep smiling. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily vlog. Guys, adios. Mm -hmm.